the second part of this presentation is aimed at uh, identify the rationale for the study and the uh, approach to the uh, systems uh, architecture integration. Some design images uh, had been uh, developed in the course of this study and examined through the design charrette, which was organized in the end of this project in order to uh, discuss the uh, applicability of the uh, systems to actual mass housing development being organized, initiated by the uh, Tenants First Housing Cooperative. Given the uh, evolution of uh, housing development, which is accompanied by dynamic uh, societal changes uh, as to needs and demands, including uh, global warming issues, homes of tomorrow need to accommodate uh, social, economic, and environmental sustainabilities. And Terence First Housing Cooperative is keen on the delivery of uh, zero carbon affordable homes. On average, a house in the UK consumes nearly 22,000 kilowatt hour of energy uh, be utilized. And this figure it makes the UK one of the uh, large energy consumers in housing around the world. Heating the water and heated space, and this portion accounts for a large portion of it. Half of the energy consumption derived from space heating, while 18% or uh, nearly 4,000 kilowatt hour of energy goes to the uh, hot water uh, heating. And in fact, this portion can be reduced by the application of hybrid solar thermal mass systems that has been developed in the course of this study. The UK government set their bold statement, all newly built homes would be carbon neutral by 2016, the notion of zero carbon house has been well understood here in the UK in the view of Code for Sustainable Homes that has been implemented in England and Wales, but not really here in Scotland. Homes in Scotland actually experience a more energy consumptions that leads to the CO2 emissions. In fact, a house located here in Scotland tends to emit three tons of CO2 annually on average, as opposed to 2.75 tons of CO2 in the UK average. In this figure, about 47% of the CO2 emission derived from space heating, while 22% of the CO2 emission from the hot water heating. And this portion can be, again, drastically reduced by the implementation of hybrid solar thermal mass systems. On 27th May 2009, last year, Tenants First Housing Cooperative launched their zero carbon affordable housing project that will be carried out in partnership with the Makito School of Architecture. This project has been supported personally by the UK government through the Knowledge Transfer Partnership Program. Initially, 10 zero carbon mass customer homes will be built in Aberdeen by 2012. This is three-year project. The first year of the project was aimed at examining uh, innovative building materials and systems applied to the uh, improvement of building uh, envelope that would be uh, applied to the housing development. And second part of the uh, project uh, is to develop uh, housing prototypes. As design sub-assessment will be also carried out, 
third stage or third year uh, will be the construction of the housing prototype developed and as built uh, environmental assessment also conducted in order to make sure uh, the achievement of the project uh, initial attempts and uh, objectives. And uh, this slide shows uh, the portion of the site that has been allocated uh, to the construction of 10 zero carbon affordable homes. The uh, southern part of this uh, site, unfortunately, is uh, surrounded by hills, as well as uh, uh, mid rise uh, dwelling units. Obviously, uh, these uh, surrounding objects cast a shadow over their site throughout the year. Therefore, the effect of these surrounding uh, objects on uh, shady patterns of the uh, land was investigated by making use of uh, Ecotech. And this study found that uh, this site will be shaded completely, uh, particularly in the December. Therefore, the use of seasonal uh, heat storage was strongly recommended. Accordingly, the application of the hybrid solar thermal mass system was uh, uh, taken into account uh, because the uh, systems to some extent function as the uh, seasonal heat storage that retain the heat collected during the summer, as well as uh, autumn in this case, uh, uh, supplement space heating uh, in the winter. This slide shows the original site plan of the housing development being carried out by Tirat's First Housing Cooperative. This project aims to encompass uh, different uh, housing prototypes, uh, type A and B, will be a slightly large dwelling units as opposed to type C, which is compact, a small uh, dwelling units, which can be attached uh, mid housing. Type D is going to be a flat uh, that accommodates a number of multi-family dwelling units. The site, uh, this project will be uh, featured by a uh, social and economic mixtures in addition to uh, the uh, beautiful landscape. In fact, the site is located right uh, next to a uh, river Don, which retain a uh, quite beautiful scenery. Therefore, kind of visual connection to the uh, river Don is considered extremely important in order to enhance their architectural value while enjoy the optimal use of uh, solar sun gains. In view of uh, passive design approaches to reducing fabric and ventilation heat losses of uh, housing, uh, such as uh, minimization of uh, external wall exposures as well as uh, avoidance of uh, self-shading, all the units is actually clustered uh, in the uh, proposed uh, uh, site plan uh, without sacrificing the uh, poetic view to the uh, river and the uh, natural scenery. Uh, furthermore, surface area of hard standing now was uh, uh, provided initially for a communal car parking space was drastically reduced to create more a uh, green area that captured rainwater uh, uh, locally as well as enhance the ecological values. And this arrangement made possible a clear separation between vehicle circulations and pedestrian paths in order to create safe green environment. And this arrangement uh, helps maintain a clear uh, separation between the units, therefore a provision of vision privacy, as well as solar access to each dwelling unit, as well as private garden.
this new proposal demonstrated the uh, proper integration of uh, attached uh, sun space or conservatory uh, fitted with the hybrid solar thermal mass systems that helps uh, uh, capture the uh, heat during the summer and winter as a uh, seasonal heat storage. According to uh, SAP conventions, attached uh, conservatories or garage can be considered as outside. Therefore, although internal habitable spaces is increased, yet the uh, floor area or volume of the uh, conservatory can be disregarded uh, for the uh, sub calculation as to space heat in demand. These intermediate uh, spaces such as uh, atriums or attached sun space or conservatory it can be uh, used as a space to capture uh, heat from the sun uh, as well as uh, distribute the uh, natural light throughout the building. These intermediate space can also function as uh, air buffer zones that uh, helps reduce ventilation as well as fabric heat loss from the inside. The rooftop of uh, attached conservatory can be fitted uh, with the uh, solar thermal bus. Uh, furthermore, these uh, uh, sun space can also be equipped with uh, green plants that uh, improve their indoor air quality. Hybrid solar thermal mass systems can be applied quite widely. Uh, I have a videotape to show uh, other examples uh, how the hybrid solar thermal mass systems can be applied to infill housing development. In collaboration with Edinburgh Dapi University, the actual performance of the hybrid solar thermal bar system was demonstrated and examined. The, the uh, monitoring uh, purposes attached to conservatory was uh, built in bigger Scotland. The uh, rooftop of the uh, conservatory it was fitted with 2.8 square meters solar thermal uh, collectors, which is coupled directly to the uh, uh, 350 millimeter thick uh, concrete slab that function as a thermal mass, which capture the heat from the sun uh, through the uh, hot water circulations while capturing the uh, solar gaze directly. A uh, thermal mass is well insulated vertically and horizontally in a such a way that thermal bridging can be prevented. Next, the technical aspect of hybrid thermal mass system will be presented by Dr. Tom Grassi, 
Edinburgh Napier University.